like to, to get them involved and how they stood out or have they stood out again like that? In the beginning, you know, it was an adjustment period for them from being come from high school to college, the workouts and the, and the, the weightlifting. But I think they, as I said, they embraced it, and you know they're taking it day by day. You know, getting better every day within like the team skills and in the, in the weight room. So I think freshmen, we have to, we're gonna have to rely on them because we have so many, and, I, and they're really talented. And, and I see it in practice, like they've been making plays. I'm like, okay, that was, that was really good. So you know, I'm definitely, definitely, I'm excited to play with them. How much did the Bulls of Amos trip not only benefit you guys as a whole, but maybe that some of them are more than to kind of get that ready? But it definitely benefited us a lot. You know, obviously off the court, you know, we had a lot of fun, like pool, beach, you know, just going to eat. But on the court, you know, it, it wasn't like we blew out teams, but you know, it was closely knit like games. It was good games, and it showed us like look. It may not be like the Big Ten, but like this is what like games are going to come down to. So it gave them like a little glimpse of like how like the Big Ten works and stuff. So I think that was definitely good for us and the team and everybody just to be able to play those games. You and Gene are basically the only guys back who played last year. Does that feel weird? A little bit, a little bit. It was especially like when everyone got here on campus. I looked around, I was like, this is a whole, whole new team from last year. But you know, I. Good guys and good players, so I was excited to get to work with them. How challenging is that to have to go from basically acclimating to an entirely new team in one year? Uh, it has some challenges. You know, people got to get adjusted to coming from like high school, the speed of the game, the strength of the game, or coming from other colleges, other conferences. The Big Ten is the best conference, like it's the most physical conference, and you know they got to get used to that. So, but they've acclimated to that well and in practice and. We've been, we've been doing really good. I know you guys like did the video of Ohio State where you and Gene were tour guides. I mean, obviously that's a f in fun, but yeah. like in seriousness, like how much have you had kind of had to take on that role? It was it's it's been as I said, it's been an adjustment period for to be like in that leadership role because coming from last year, it was you know we had a lot of older guys, the like, team for older guys. And I was one of the youngest, and now everyone left, and now I'm one of the most like, experienced. I may not be the oldest, but I've like, been playing here, so it's definitely been an adjustment period. I've been talking to the coaches and like look at just to, to feel out. The, I don't know. It's 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 kind of hard to explain. Like, but I'm just trying to work on it every day. And you know, get better at it every day. Do you enjoy that leadership role? I do actually. Um, you know, it's 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 different. You know, just to, for people to come come to you and ask you questions on like how to do this and like or how like what to expect from practice. You know, it's I'll, I, and I tell them I'm like, look, this is what to expect. It's it's definitely as I said, adjustment, but I actually embrace it. Who are some of the other guys you see stepping up around you as leaders? Uh, just everyone really is a leader in their own way, but you know, Justice, Gene, Isaac, uh, Ice, uh, definitely stepped up in my opinion. But everyone has their own leadership roles. You and Felix are really kind of the only like true centers on this team. Do you think kind of having that ability to play more small ball is something that can help this team? You know, especially in March. Absolutely. Um, you know, that's what the game is moving towards the small ball and obviously in the Big Ten uh, we have traditional big seven footers for on different teams but being able to go small is a mix, ma mix match problem for other teams so I, I'm glad that we have the ability to be able to do that with, with this team. Is that challenging kind of though in the Big Ten you've got to be able to play that bigger ball but then you get into March and you kind of have to be able to play more small ball? Yes because they, Day in and day out with these, with in the Big Ten uh, season, you're gonna have a seven footer that you're that's gonna be playing or more, like Purdue. They, they, they have that tall. There's no small, I don't think small ball is gonna work against Purdue. But um, yeah, it's definitely as you said, March. You know, it's definitely good because teams you know, it makes it more versatile, as I said. And we have interchangeable one through five, so you know, it's definitely definitely helps us a lot. Is that something you've tried to work on with your game to become more versatile, be able to guard on the perimeter? Absolutely. Um, you know, I've been expanding my, my range from mid range three, you know, put the ball on the floor a little bit, you know, just to show the versatility, as you said, and, and even the next level. It's like, uh, there's no traditional. Like, I'm not seven foot. And I'm not a big like my position is three four. So you know, you got to be able to shoot three, got to be able to move, put the ball on the floor. How much better do you feel? in that regard than you did when you got here two years ago? A lot better. Like, I'm definitely more confident being able to shoot the ball, shoot the ball in practice, and, you know, just see it going, you know, just see your hard work from all the summer, summer going. And, you know, definitely, it definitely feels a lot better.